I'm Roxanne Dervis, and I'm getting ready to go to France with seven other people from London, Ontario. And someone suggested I do a quick video on the kinds of things that we should take. We were given a list of items from the tour operator, the painting operator, and I'm going to show you how you can take a lot of different things in a very small amount of space. One of the things that I've done, if you see my how to store your paint, is I've wrapped every one of my tubes of paint with the clear packing uh, cellophane or cellotape. And then I've taken my little knife and squeezed as much of the paint up into the top of the tube as I can, because what that does is it saves a lot of space when you're packing your container. I have 12 tubes of paint here, titanium white. And then for traveling with oil, I get this impasto liquid impasto in a tube because it helps the oils to dry a bit faster. So I just put these in here and zip up this little case and that is all the paint that I need. The next thing they talk about is lots of paper towels so I rely on my paper towels from the automotive section. I will leave this at home. Two palette knives, some paint brushes, three pencils, three pens. They will be supplying mineral spirits there, so I have this lovely mineral spirit container. Uh, the paint brushes don't touch the bottom. This one has a nice ring on it, stop it from leaking. This will be filled up with something, I'm sure. A roll of masking tape. I've taken a big roll and cut it in half. And then some bulldog clips for clipping your canvas onto a solid board. This is the canvas sheet that you get. What you do is you just roll this back, bulldog clip the corners, paint on that. When you're done, you rip the canvas off. So that will fit in the bottom of my suitcase. Then they want you to bring a palette. And what I've done is I have brought, got a piece of foam core and I've taped on each side some tear palette. And I have used this a few times to see how it works. What I'm doing is I'm going to put my paints out in my Masterson's wet palette in all the proper locations. And then when I want to mix color, I will mix it on this. So at the end of the day, I'll still have pure pigment in here. Slap the lid back on and you're ready for the next day. One very small portable aluminum easel and one sketchbook. This is a sketchbook I took to, to Tuscany with me and I thought I don't want to lose all that information if I lose this book. So I have cut out most of the pages from the Tuscany and found I have plenty of pages still left in my book and it's not near as heavy as it was. So this is what I need for 10 days to paint in France. You can do it if you try. It's an amazing thing to go on a plein air workshop. Don't be daunted by the fact that you might have a lot to carry. The other nice thing about these workshops is once you get there, they have a van and you just toss all of your work into the back of the van. He's got shelves all set up so you're not carrying anything very far. I may look for a small portable full collapsible seat. Probably won't. I didn't need one in Italy, so I probably won't need one here. Anyway, hope you like this information. As you can see, when I get all of these things put back together, they're not going to take up much space in my suitcase. And I'll have a chance to maybe bring some nice French cheese home. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share with your friends, and we'll see you next time.